crawl, walk, then run. I used to be a collegiate softball coach. And in the very beginning, when we would all come together and start um, practice, some of the things that we would do would always go back to the basics and fundamentals of throwing. Even from the way that we warm up, we would start by putting our fingers on the seams and just doing toss back and forth to make sure our finger placement was right on the ball. And then we might go up to one knee and go into the proper throwing form to come around and make sure our elbow follow through was perfect. Then we would stand up and start to throw from the waist, keeping our feet still so that we were isolating and building on the fundamentals. Then we would go into step and throw and putting it all together until we would get further and further apart. And before you know it, we're throwing the ball. When you really want to make a difference in the world and change some of your unconscious bias, it has to start small. We need to look inside of ourselves and ask, what was I really taught growing up? What were some of those seeds that were planted into my subconscious mind that make me feel unconsciously biased? What were some of the things that my parents said to me? What was modeled? What's, how did I watch my teachers interact with someone? How did I watch my parents interact when they were in a store? When you go back to the basics, then you'll have the ability to really change and build on those fundamentals. If you really wanna make a difference within yourself and within your community and see people for who they truly are, we have to crawl, walk, and then run. Start small, start by uncovering some of the stories that have been told to you and some of the things that have been modeled. Once we do that, then we can take control to really make a difference. Seeing people for who they truly are.